Hello friend, if you already gone through my previous video tutorial, you might already know what is Windows Metro style application. How to create a Windows Metro style application using the Visual Studio 2011 in Windows 8 environment. We already demonstrated all the project structures of the Metro style app. Today in this video tutorial, we will explore what is package.apex manifest file. Package.apex manifest defines various properties of the deployment package of your application. It is nothing but an XML file. But when you double click, you will see this designer UI popped up in your screen. This designer UI contains four different tabs called application UI, capabilities, declarations and packaging. Application UI defines some set of properties that identify and describe your application when it deployed. Like first is display name, you can set the title of your application. Second is entry point that defines the class name which will load once you activate your app. Here this is our app class which is available under the Hello Metro style app namespace. Description contains text which defines about your application. Next comes the section called tile. This tile is defined in your start screen. You can set logo, wide logo, small logo. Then you can set a different properties like show name. If you set the show name to no, the title of your application will not be visible in the tile mode. If you set to yes, you will see the title of your application present in your tile when it is available in the start screen. You can set a short name for your application. You can set the foreground text of your tile screen. Either you can set it to light or you can set it to dark. You can set the background color of your tile. Next comes notification. Notifications contain badge logo, whether your application is capable of toast. You can set it to yes or no. You can set the notification in the lock screen. There are different lock screen notifications available like badge, badge and tile text and tile text. Then comes splash screen. You can browse through the application to set the application splash screen which comes before it loads the main view. It is already available in the images folder that has been picked up from the UI. You can set the background color of your splash screen. You can set the initial rotation whether it is a portrait, landscape, portrait and flipped or landscape and flipped. Next come to the capabilities. Capabilities page defines a set of system features or devices that your application can use. There are different application capabilities available like default windows credential this this will be used when your application allows to connect to an internet resources that require domain credentials like this there are different capabilities like document library access homework networking intranet internet location microphone music library access picture library access removal storage text messaging video library access webcam etc Third tab defines a declarations that specify their properties. You can see available declarations in this drop down like autoplay content, autoplay device, background task, camera settings, certificates, contact picker, file picker, search, user tile provider, etc. etc. If you want to choose any one of them, just select the content, click add. This will add to the supported declarations. In the right panel, you will see various different properties for that particular declarations. If you want to choose another declarations here, you can choose it from here. Like I'm adding a search also. You will see the search properties available to the applications. If you want to remove on any of the declarations, just select the declaration here, click remove. This will remove the specific declaration for your app. 
Next come to the packaging. The properties of your deployment package is defined here. This page is to set the properties which will uniquely identify and describe your package. Like package name. Package name is by default a GUID which defines your app. Suppose if you want to upgrade from version 1 to version 2, this package name will be recognized and based upon that it will upgrade your app. If you change this package name, it will be deployed as a new application. You can set the package display name, you can set the logo also which is a 56 by 56 pixel required size. You can set the publisher information like publisher, publisher display name and package file family name. You can choose it, a cert, choose the certificate which will be which will come here. You can configure the certificate here or view the full certificate or you can create your no, new test certificate or select from a file or pick the certificate from a certificate store. Let's see how it structures it in the XML file. Close the UI, right click on the package.apex manifest and click on the view code menu item. This will open the property in a XML format. Here you will see the package which is an identification. This is the package name, publisher and the version number. Like this there are different properties like display name, publisher display name, logo, description etc. Also you can see other properties like different logos for the application display name splash screen image path then capabilities those will be defined in the xml file in itself if you change it here it will be it will reflect in the ui also that's all about the package.apex manifest if you have any queries please drop me a comment at the below i will try to answer you as soon as possible stay tuned with me to learn more about the metro style application thank you so much for attending the video tutorial here is my technical blog URL where you can find lots of article, tutorials, news, tips and tricks. Also like my Facebook page to be connected with me. I am also available on Twitter. You can find me at kunal2383. Thank you.